Hey guys, what is going on? Today it's Jake, and here is Zombies Wishlist Episode 2. If you're not familiar what it is, what Zombies Wishlist is, I take your guys' comments and I put them in the video, and I talk about the ideas that you guys bring me. The first Zombies episode wishlist was at the release of Origins, so it was a long time ago, and there was over 200 comments, and so I just took, I read every single one, and I've taken the best, and I didn't grab like every single comment, I didn't grab, because there's a lot of good ideas. But I didn't grab like, I don't know, there's probably at least 15 because then this uh, video would be at least 20 minutes. So I'm just highlighting the good ideas that I found. So basically if you guys want your ideas, all you have to do is be subscribed. You have to leave a comment of course of what your idea is and just like the video. Liking the video just shows your support and just makes me want to make another one of these videos soon. And it would be great if you'd like the video if you also left your ideas. And when I read them and talk about my ideas for them, I add my opinions and whatever. And I'll put it on screen so you guys could read along with me. And making sure I'm not illiterate and reading the words incorrectly. There was actually a total of 282, I mean 84, my fucking bad. And those who have a YouTube channel understand, it, it does, like, you can't read comments. Uh, a lot you have to take the time out of your day to read every single one you can't just read one and then walk away it's like opening your present just taking off the wrapper and not opening the box like it's anyways all right the first one goes to Lewis Ruiz all right I'm not gonna uh, give my opinion about the usernames in these videos but I will use the comments unlimited points for 15 like an insta kill or double points and I think this is a great idea, but it should have restrictions because um, when you grab that, you could pack a punch like three weapons in that time. So maybe it's exclusive for doors and maybe grenades and uh, stuff like that, not something that you would buy like normally, like perks or a pack a punch. But that is a really good idea, and I hope that is something like that is included in the next Treyarch Zombies game. Just a pointer, if you guys want to make a comment about these videos, you should probably have played the Call of Duty Zombies series. Not judging, but if I was, then you're a fucking dumbass. Bitch, I want to be able to restart the game if things are not going my way. Like from Black Ops 1, there was a restart button. Why didn't that return, bitch? Okay, calm down, Jesse Pinkman. Even though it is a swell idea, you don't need to blow your load over it. But that was kind of irritating that that wasn't brought back in, um... Black Ops 2, there was a restart button in Black Ops 1, where like if you just needed to restart the game real quick, you just push the start button ammo. and restart. And for Black Ops 2, you just had to end the game, end the game, and just start it over again. So that should return, obviously. That's just little features like that should obviously return. It's not that big of a deal to do. A new perk called Perk a Punch, where you pack a punch, a perk, and double it ab its Shit, abilities. So. That's a great idea to add double abilities, like, let's say you get stamina up, it will tweak it so you're allowed to sprint and have your gun out, like, reload while you're sprinting. Good job, Chris Martinez, you little beaner. But no, adding double abilities is pretty sweet, and it's a great idea that they should add. By the way, he's my good friend on Xbox, so I'm not, like, insulting a random subscriber. But anyways, next... This guy took the idea straight from my ass cheeks because it's such a great idea and I believe that everyone agrees that the PPSH should return. Another great idea is to bring C4 into zombies. I've always wanted that since like early on because I love using C4s in multiplayer, just chucking them and blowing them up right on people. I believe that would be a really great idea and probably involved in the easter egg somehow where you have to chuck a C4 and blow something up, that would be pretty sweet. No need to hold your penis, because you're going to blow your load anyways when you hear this next one. <laughs> just kidding. No. Dynamic maps would be a great idea. Maybe just a trap for zombies you can only use once, or with the zombie storyline, have meteors coming down, hitting the earth once in a while everywhere, and actually making craters in the uh, map. That'd be a great idea. Especially on the next-gen consoles, they could actually do that. This next one's pretty great. Allow to save your games and choose your characters. Now, 
if you're playing solo, you could pick any character you want. It doesn't randomly select one. It doesn't give you the first character that the main one or whatever. Dempsey always, if you played solo, you would always get Dempsey. I think. And then also save your games. Now with next gen consoles, I believe that's possible. I'm totally expecting no game crashes, migrating host, um, just that great stuff. And I really hope that. Oh my gosh. Anyways, um, I just had a nerdgasm right there thinking about the new next-gen console. Anyways, it would be a great idea to have saved games because those people that go for high rounds, you know, you're tired, your eyes are dried out, like you just were done smoking a blunt, and it'd be a great idea to just be able to save your game instead. Now, this is a great idea is... Um, Trade your weapons and your points to other players. Now, this is something that's really needed because if you play with someone in a random game that is totally terrible, or not, not to judge them really quick, you're not, they're not terrible, but they just don't have anything to start off with, or whatever, you, and you don't feel like having a weapon, like you would rather just give it up rather than trading it for another weapon in the box, if you know what I'm saying. And that's a great idea to have, I don't know, a machine in the map, or um, having a location on the map, like a bank in Black Ops 2. That'd be pretty sweet. Alright, have a creative class that guns you buy. So, obviously, for multiple reasons, there's not going to be an only zombies game. Zombies only game, I mean, from Treyarch. And that's obvious, I just got a text message. Anyways, um... But what they can do on next gen, I don't know about 360, but I doubt it, is they have a lot more capabilities, so maybe there's a whole ranking system, which I'm going to get into in my next, um, or my next idea, but, um, to have your own guns, you unlock guns, you unlock, like, start off guns. Now there's like a story mode where you start off with the starter pistols and then you have to complete the storyline. And then there's custom games where you could rank up your guy, you could download, or not download, but buy guns that you get from points and stuff like that. That you, uh, you know, you have fun with, like multiplayer, it just there's so much, so much options and capabilities to have in the game of zombies and it would be wonderful because zombies, I've been, I could play zombies game, or the zombies part of the game, the whole Call of Duty zombie year, without even touching multiplayer, just from what they have now, imagine having, I just got another fucking text message, and then just imagine what they could do, um, with the next gen and having all these capabilities like creating your gun, creating your character, stuff like that, that'd be really fun. Okay, having a whole new ranking system for zombies, I just got another fucking text message. SMGs, pistols you unlock through the prestiges, and having your own, like, tiers, uh, all these new loot weapons when you prestige, and zombies. Okay, so there's, just picture this, there's a storyline mode, custom mode, and in this custom mode you can make your own guy, your own, you start off with your any gun you want that you have unlocked, that you can buy with points that you get. Um, that's my friend Bilbo Laggins from Xbox, and he has a great idea, you could read it off, I'm not going to read the whole thing, it would take forever, but, that's a great idea, is you unlock pistol, new starter pistols, new, I don't know, like, not something overpowered to start with, but like, maybe, uh, an SMG, a little SMG that starts off with not as much bullets as that would be overpowered with, so, that's a great idea, and if, and I doubt that it would be able to be on Xbox 360 because of the, the, the storage and just not being able to run that. But on the Xbox One and the PS4, you're able to have bigger maps, more zombies in them, <clears throat> just more capabilities, and I just can't wait to see what they have. Like, obviously they have to make it capable for Xbox 360 because not everybody has an Xbox One now. But uh, it'd just be great to see what, what's coming up in the next Xbox One <clears throat> future for zombies. That has been episode two. To join, like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment. And I'll make an episode three very soon. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe if you don't subscribe. Call up a psychiatrist because you're a fucking lunatic. Anyways guys, I'll talk to you guys next time. I got another text message. Goodbye.